The rose in my hand fell to the ground. My fiancé, Willow, was in a wedding dress, lying in bed with another man. Tomorrow is our wedding. I smiled bitterly and said, Do you know this is our bridal chamber? Willow said, indifferently. If you want to pursue excitement, you have to carry it through. Besides, what if you found out? You're just a dog my dad keeps. Dare you divorce me? I shook my head and turned to leave. She sneered and cursed me, as a waste. When I closed the door, there was a panting sound from the room. Over the years, I'd been working under her dad, rising step by step. Willow thought she had me, but what she didn't know was that her dad had been senile half a year ago, and I, ambitious as evolve, took all the power. With one word from me, her family will go bankrupt immediately, I made two calls, one to notify all friends and relatives that they don't need to attend the wedding tomorrow. The other was to tell the secretary to convey to all shareholders that from today on, I will no longer protect the Liu family. The shareholders acted quickly. When I got downstairs, I saw Willow's driver rushing over. He bowed deeply to me, then got into the Porsche and drove away. This car and driver were gifts from other shareholders to please her father. Now Willow is worthless in their eyes. This woman is still turning the clouds and raining upstairs, but she doesn't know that from now on, let alone a Porsche. She can't even afford the subway. Even this wedding house was a gift from a developer who heard we were getting married and wanted to be friends with me. Nominally given to Willow, as soon as I got into my car, I saw a group of property management staff rushing upstairs. This 300 square meter river view house is no longer a place Willow can live in. Soon, she was dragged down by the security guards, her clothes disheveled. She yelled frantically, Don't touch me. What do you want to do? Do you know who my dad is? Her dad. After I took the power, her dad is nothing. Willow saw me in the car. She broke free from the security guard, rushed over and pounded on my car window, cursing angrily. George, what are you up to? I'll tell my dad right away, and you'll have nothing. This woman doesn't understand that the one who has nothing is her. The man next to her anxiously said to me, George, this is our fault, but you can't kick her out of the house. Even crows know to feed their parents, don't forget how her dad promoted you over the years. I glanced at the man, I know him. Willow's first love, Makoto. Willow really loved him for many years. I've always known that when Makoto got the chance to study abroad, Willow gave him her first time. That night she got pregnant and had an abortion, crying that she had lost his flesh and blood. Once, I worked tirelessly for the Liu family. Now, I just want this family business, I said to the driver indifferently. Drive. The view outside the car began to recede. Willow was frantically pounding on my car window, screaming hysterically at me. George, at the shareholders' meeting the day after tomorrow, I'm going to clean house and kick you, the ungrateful Volf, out of the Liu family. An ungrateful Volf, I laughed, over the years. People have thought that Father Liu was promoting me, but people have forgotten that he started his business by smuggling and was found to be evading taxes. It was my loyal father who took all the blame. He may have felt indebted and took me in as his godson. On the first day I entered the Liu family, Willow arrogantly told me, they said, your dad is a dog by my dad's side, so from today on, you are my dog. That day, Father Liu laughed heartily and told me that children's words were innocent and not to take it to heart. From that day on, I lived for the Liu family. In front of classmates, Willow directly called me a puppy, asking me to carry her school bag and do her homework. If I didn't obey, she would get upset and say in front of all the classmates, you fatherless bastard, if it weren't for my dad raising you, you would have starved to death, but you don't know how to be grateful. When I wore a new outfit for the new year, she would also boast everywhere, saying that the clothes on me were bought by her dad, and the new year's money was given by her dad. Since I was a child, I was that loyal dog. When I grew up, I entered Liu group and rose rapidly but every step I took was stained with invisible blood, eliminating every enemy that was not beneficial to Willow for Father Liu. I built a throne, waiting for Willow to return. She only cared about eating, drinking, and having fun these years, letting me tave the way for her. When she had enough fun, she could directly secure the top position. Thinking carefully, thanks to her only caring about having fun and not even caring about her own father. Otherwise, 
How could I get this huge family business? The next day, Willow came, and she brought Makoto with her. She pushed open the door at my office and cursed angrily. Well done. George, you really dare to cancel the wedding. I glanced at her and said, indifferently, what's the matter? Where's my dad? All my cards have been frozen, and the fare to come here was paid by Brother Makoto. I casually said, the chairman is doing business in another province. In fact, how could he possibly be doing business? He even forgot who he was and had long been arranged by me into a nursing home abroad. Willow looked into my eyes, suddenly laughed in anger. I originally wanted to kick you out at the shareholders meeting tomorrow, but I can't stand your face. The more I look at it, the more disgusting. You're sitting in this position like a dog. Move away. She took out a document and slapped it in front of me. I picked it up and saw that it was a personnel appointment letter. Appoint Mr. Makoto as the assistant to our company's general manager. When Makoto returns to the country, he will take up his post directly. The signature is Father Liu's, and the time is exactly half a year ago. Starting directly from the assistant to the general manager, this is aimed at my position, and she even wants me to teach him hand in hand. Sure enough, Father Liu also treated me as a dog of the Liu family. Willow sneered. Let me tell you, this suit of yours can only be worn for at most three more months. This chair of yours belongs to Brother Makoto. Makoto hypocritically said, I'm sorry. Willow said the company is very busy and hopes I can help. I didn't know it would turn out like this. I nodded and reached out to him. Welcome to join us. Makoto shook hands with me, his face full of victorious smiles. I withdrew my hand. But you just stepped into the office with your left foot first, which is not conducive to the company's image. Please go to the HR department to resign. Makoto's smile gradually solidified. Willow's eyes widened. You have a lot of nerve. You dare to fire brother Makoto. I sat in the chair, flipping through the documents, and said, indifferently, is there a problem with me firing my assistant? Makoto was still pretending. He smiled bitterly and said, George. Shut up. Is George the name that you can call me? Okay, I understand if you're mad at me, but this is Father Liu's appointment. If you fire me directly now, I'm afraid you'll look bad at the shareholders meeting tomorrow. Really, I took out my phone, turned on the camera, and looked at my face, then seriously said, I think I look good. The most charming parts are my chin and silkworms. He was stunned and dumbfounded. Willow was so angry that she pushed all the documents on my desk to the floor. She cursed. George, do you really think you're the general manager of my family? To tell you the truth, when I first started dating and marrying you, it was nothing more than my dad seeing that you had built a team of elites and wanted to win over people first. Now the company is on the right track and doesn't need you. I nodded. I've always known this. She continued to sneer. You're about to become a pauper. Otherwise, why do you think I asked you to sign a prenuptial agreement? Whether we get married or divorced, each person's property is their own. It's pitiful for some people who won't even be able to afford a bowl of ramen. Hearing this, I laughed. Thanks to the prenuptial agreement, you dare to laugh. Willa wanted to blow up, but I just stood up and straightened my tie. Sorry, I had a meeting to attend. I won't accompany you, Makoto sighed. George, I know you can't accept it in your heart, so I'll come to work tomorrow. Don't worry. You are a talent. After three months, when I become the general manager, I will also arrange for you to assist me. I didn't bother to pay attention to him, turned around and left, and made a call to my secretary. When the call was connected, I asked, How is the work going? The secretary respectfully said, From tomorrow on, there will be no you family. Okay, arrange a car for tomorrow morning. The shareholders meeting will be held in the morning. Where are you going? Go to prison to pick up someone at the gate of the prison. I sat in the Maybach, looking at the plan that would be used tomorrow. As the prison gate opened, my father walked out with a bag in his hand, dressed simply. The secretary hurriedly went to carry his bag, and he came to my side, touched the car door, and said sentimentally, Mr. Liu is really good. He even lets you sit in such an expensive car. I calmly said, get in the car. He sat in the car a little restrained, and couldn't help but wipe the seat, I'm dirty. Don't get Mr. Liu's car dirty, son. I really feel relieved to leave you to Mr. Liu, seeing you being raised by him as a talent. Raise me. I sneered. 
In junior high school, Willow forced me to wash her feet in order to show off her slaves in front of her classmates, and she wanted me to drink her foot washing water. I refused to drink, she slapped me three times in public, her dad knew after that. I just told her not to joke around. Is this called raising me? I studied hard and got into a key university. Because she needed a servant, she arranged for me to go to a third-rate university. When I was cleaning her dormitory, she was serving Brother Makoto in a hotel. After the abortion, she was weak and called me around. Is this called raising me? The taste of foot washing water, I will never forget. The humiliation of a man, I will never forget. The smile on my father's face gradually solidify. He said softly, you can't be ungrateful. Look at you now in a suit and leather shoes, all thanks to the Liu family. I remain silent, different paths, different pursuits. My father has been loyal to the Liu family for decades, and he relishes every bone the Liu family gives him. But I'm different. I've suffered so much and been bullied so much. No one can stand on my head anymore. Today I brought him here to let him witness the fall of the Liu family and see me rise above all. When the car arrived at the entrance of the Liu group, Willow and Makoto had been waiting here, as soon as my father saw Willow. He hurriedly approached her humbly. Willow, you've grown up so much. Willow looked at him with disgust. Uncle, who are you? Why do you know me? I am your Uncle Wan. Mr. Liu came to see me five years ago and showed me your photo. I recognized you at a glance. Willow suddenly realized. She sneered. Uncle Wan, you really know how to educate your son. My father didn't hear her mockery, he flattered. All thanks to your and Mr. Liu's care. Willow looked at me arrogantly and suddenly said to my father, I'm thirsty. Go buy me a bottle of water. Okay, uncle will go right away. I watched my father humbly run to buy water for Willow, and she sneered at me. See, your dad is a better servant than you. I stood at the door, patiently waiting for my father to come back. He came back panting, bringing Willow a bottle of mineral water. Willow took the mineral water and threw it on the ground. I want to drink cold water. My father was startled and hurriedly said, Then I'll buy you another one, no need. I don't want to drink now. Willow provocatively glanced at me and walked straight into the company's gate. My father returned to my side in a daze. He smiled bitterly. The girl has a big temper, remember to buy her some later. I said softly, Let's go. The meeting is about to start. I grant you the right to listen. Shareholders meeting. All twelve shareholders were present. Only the chairman's position at the end of the table was empty. Willow sat in her chair, chewing gum, and asked casually, Where is my dad? I picked up the document and said, into the microphone, Today is the third quarterly meeting of this year. Miss Willow did not attend the previous two meetings, so I will briefly recap the general situation of the previous two meetings. She still had that cynical attitude and sneer, the first time, I went abroad to find Brother Makoto. The second time, Brother Makoto had a holiday and came back to see me. All the shareholders had gloomy faces. This woman really laid her cards on the table. No more pretending. I cleared my throat and said, In the first quarter, I led the company to enter the internet, signed contracts with 85 bloggers, took advantage of the New Year's promotion, and made a profit of 40 million. In the second quarter, in order to save costs, we created our own exclusive bloggers, created popular marketing copy, greatly saved marketing costs, made a profit of 70 million, and prepared for the mid-year promotion. Willow suddenly raised her hand and interrupted me. Enough. You don't have to boast about your abilities in front of me. These are what you should do. I tell you, all the work you do, Brother Makoto can do it, and do it better than you. Her words made my father in the corner suddenly change his face. He looked worried, afraid that I would lose the protection of the Liu family. Makoto smiled and said, George, you've paid the way well. When I take over your position, I will take the company to a higher level on double eleven. Thank you for creating such a good situation. I glanced at him. Yes, such a good start, all these years, have created. I helped the Liu family to be rich and prosperous but the father and daughter of the Liu family just treated me like a dog. Willow gently said, Brother Makoto, you don't have to thank him. The company is now on the rise. When you take over, you can directly play a winning hand. Makoto smiled and said, Fool, no matter what the company's situation is, I will go through it with you. We can share the joy and the suffering. 
Hearing Makoto say this, I was relieved. I cleared my throat and continued, in the third quarter, the company lost for 100 million. More than half of the warehouse leases expire and could not be renewed, and five banks requested early repayment of loans. The chairman has fled abroad, and the theme of today's shareholders meeting is to apply for dissolution. Willow was stunned, the smile on her face froze, disappeared, and then turned pale. I sigh, Miss Willow. Luckily you came today, your dad has fled the country, and there are debt collectors outside the company. They say that if you don't pay back today, one finger is worth 100,000. Thanks to brother Makoto for sharing will and will with you. Your family owes them for a million, to people including Toes. Just enough to pay off, Willow completely lost her arrogant and domineering appearance. She grabbed my clothes, and her voice was trembling with excitement. How did you do it? Our company was making a profit before. Why is it suddenly going bankrupt? Tell me. I looked at her collapsing expression and smile. I have been working hard to do business for your family. But you are right. I am not capable. I should let your brother Makoto take this position. Yes, it's all business. In the first quarter, we had a pleasant cooperation with those bloggers. In the second quarter, I found that Mr. Liu was senile. So I proposed the plan for the company to create its own bloggers and save marketing costs. I founded a new company and cooperated with Liu's group. I told him that this was a business prepared for Willow. Mr. Liu was selfish and greedy. He was very happy to take the shareholders' money and put it into his own pocket in the name of cooperation. The Willow only cared about having fun and did not take care of her business. Every time the company gave her documents, she was too lazy to read them and just signed them and took the money. She had already handed the company over to me. And during the last period when Mr. Liu was still sane, he always thought he was paving the way for his daughter and wanted to kick me out. In the second quarter, I was doing things on the surface, but secretly signing up for bloggers. However, the bloggers I signed were all young men who were no good at attracting fans. Entering the third quarter, Mr. Liu had completely lost his sanity. Under my operation, Liu's group began to invest heavily in marketing costs for the new company, but got nothing in return. On the contrary, it increased production and piled up debts. In theory, I can't hide these things from other shareholders, but they are on my side. If you want to accomplish great things, you must learn to get benefits. After many years of cooperation, the shareholders deeply understand the selfishness and incompetence of the Liu family. After seeing Mr. Liu's secret operations, they firmly stood on my side. I can't make this company alone. I have the support of the other 11 shareholders except Willow. The fallen Willow could only look at Makoto for help. And Makoto frantically flipped through my documents, he hurriedly said. Willow don't worry. There are still a lot of goods in the warehouse that have not been sold. And your family has decades of production lines and customers. These are our capital. As long as we clear these things, according to the proportion of your and your father's shares, not only can you pay off your debts, but you can also be worth tens of millions. Willow breathed a sigh of relief when she heard this. I nodded and said, Yes, there will indeed be a new company discussing the acquisition of our business today. Willow was anxious and cursed me. You waste, hurry up and make tea, and welcome the boss to come, following Willow's words. I made a cup of tea and put it on the chairman's seat. Then I sat in the chair and tasted the tea. Willow looked at me in astonishment. You waste, what tea are you drinking? I said, next. Let's talk about the acquisition of your family's industry. Willow was dumbfounded at first, but quickly came back to her senses. She gritted her teeth and said, Good for you, you have already defected to others to be a dog, and even helped people talk about company acquisitions, slaves are always slaves. Willow sat back in the chair, she sneered, What price does your new owner offer? I said, The things in the warehouse, I have already let people count them, the production line, the remaining warehouse lease, the stable customer list, the total value is about 240 million. Upon hearing this, Makoto excitedly said to Willow, Baby, if you sell all these, pay off the debt, you can at least get 100 million. Willow nodded and said to me, I don't want to talk to you, you don't even have the qualifications to negotiate with me. Let your master settle the money now, also, I have an additional condition. I asked, what condition? She coldly said, I want your new master to put it in black and white in the contract, 
never let you be the general manager. I was taken aback and honestly said, I'm not the general manager in the company. I was telling the truth, I was the chairman in the new company, and the position of general manager was prepared for my secretary. When Willow heard that I was not the general manager, she suddenly started laughing wildly. George, I'm not having a good time, and you're down too. You incompetent slave, even if you lose the position of general manager, you have to kneel and lick the new owner, you are disgusting. I looked at her calmly and asked, have you laughed enough? She waved her hand, you are no longer worthy of making me laugh, 240 million, bring the contract, let's sign. All the shareholders present looked at Willow with deep meaning. She wondered, what's the matter, come over and verify the contract. I asked her, did I say I would offer 240 million, she was stunned. I said, considering the depreciation of the production line and the seasonality of the goods, my company is willing to offer 40 million. Willow slapped the table and cursed it. Do you bargain like this? Okay, I won't sell. There are plenty of companies wanting to buy. I don't lack your one. She was so angry that she stood up to leave. And Makoto also held her hand and said to me, George, I see it clearly. Your company behind you has no intention of buying at all. You are now furious and deliberately bullying Willow. I laughed. So what, he said. 30 years in the east of the river and 30 years in the west of the river, when we rise again. All the humiliations you have given Willow today, I will return you a hundred times. I will deal with those creditors, we use family, is a thin camel bigger than a horse. He held Willow's waist, glared at me fiercely, and wanted to take her away. I spoke coldly, stop, this is a shareholder meeting. Whether to sell to my company or not is not for you to decide, but for the shareholders to vote. Willow mocked, do you think everyone will agree with these terms? I said, shareholders who agree to sell, please raise your hands. The shareholders present all raised their hands. Willow's face became paler and paler, and Nakoda was also stunned by the scene before him, almost unable to stand steady. Major corporate affairs require more than two-thirds of the shareholders who vote in favor to pass and at this moment, 11 to 1. I smiled and said, Past, let's sign the contract, are you crazy? You are selling something worth 240 million for 40 million. Willow could no longer keep her composure and threw a tantrum in the meeting room like a shrew. Of course, the shareholders would agree, the new company was built by us, and they all arranged for their confidants or relatives in the new company. This is just a process of our devouring the Liu family, in return for what the Liu family has done to us over the years. Willow cursed, you bunch of bastards, ungrateful wolves. My dad is the largest shareholder, he is veto power. Although she is very foolish, Makoto has clearly seen the current situation. He no longer helped Willow, but was sweating profusely, I said. Your dad has already fled the country, and he has been listed as a defaulter by several institutions. Do you think he can come back to vote? Shareholders have the right to dispose of the company in order to stop the loss in time. I can vote on behalf of my dad. Our father and daughter's shares added up. No one can compare. Do you have a power of attorney? Your dad ran away, not die. Why should his shares be inherited by you? Willow's face was ashen. And at this moment, the conference room door was suddenly pushed open. Several burly men entered the conference room, their faces full of muscles, tattoos exposed on their bodies, they looked not to be messed with. These people are the creditors of the Liu family. Liu's father chose private loans to avoid the shareholders. His greed eventually became the last straw that crushed the Liu family. I said, Miss Willow, after you get the money today, you can just pay off the bank, but these for million from the brothers, I'm afraid you can't pay back. A tattooed man suddenly laughed, she can pay it back, we have plenty of channels for her to earn for million, I asked. Is it the kind of means that can make a person appear in all corners of the world at the same time? The big man sneered. That's the last resort. Willow swallowed and asked Makoto, What are these people talking about? How can a person possibly appear in all corners of the world at the same time? Makoto's face became more and more ugly. He even started to tremble and finally said, Don't worry. We'll pay back these good men's money first. And we'll drag the bank sigh, waiting for your dad to come back. I took out the contract that had been prepared long ago and put it on the table. Willow looked at the document shakily, and when she saw it clearly, 
She suddenly looked up at me. Partia is George. I smiled and said, let me introduce myself. From today, I am the boss of Liu's group, and you are just a dog by my side. The father in the corner was completely dumbfounded. Willow thumped and fell directly to her knees. Even if she was stupid, she understood her situation at this point. She grabbed the corner of my clothes and pleaded, Mr. Wan, I was wrong. It was all my fault before. Please spare me for the sake of my family's kindness to you. I sneered. Do you have the nerve to mention the kindness of upbringing? Willow, how has your family treated me over the years? Don't you know in your heart? No matter what, I am still your fiancé. Just two days ago, you were having a passionate moment with this man in my bridal chamber. Do you think you can mention the word fiancé? Makoto swallowed. He said to Willow, sign it. Let's not beg him. Take this money. I have a way to take you out of the country and continue to live a rich wife's life. I laughed. At this point, Makoto was still thinking about Willow's money. All the shareholders signed one after another. I made a phone call to my secretary and said softly, transfer the money. Willow breathed a sigh of relief. She said to those tattooed men, friends, I will pay you back right away. You wait a moment. I have the authority and password of my dad's car. Makoto held her shoulder and said to me, Remember, I will return it a hundred times. Willow lost her begging attitude just now. She gritted her teeth and cursed. George, you heartless beast, Makoto's talent is far above you. We will definitely rise again abroad and come back to make you lose everything. I touched my chin and suddenly said, Oh, something is wrong. Willow was stunned. What's wrong? I slapped my forehead and said, I am really careless. That card of your dad's, I forgot to ask the finance department to repay it three months ago, and it has been frozen by the bank. But don't worry. Once the money is credited, it will probably be taken away by the bank to repay the debt. At this point, I showed a smile, so don't worry, you won't owe the bank money. Willow couldn't even stand steady, swaying in place, the tattooed man frowned. Miss Willow, so you can't come up with the four million you owe us. Willow opened her mouth, but couldn't say a word. On the other hand, Makoto, seeing that Willow was hopeless, turned around and was about to leave. Willow quickly grabbed his arm and said anxiously, Makoto, where are you going? Don't involve me in your death. Makoto pushed her hand away. From today, we completely break up. You just said that you are willing to share Wulanwo with me. Even husband and wife will fly separately and disaster strikes, let alone you and me. Willow seemed to have lost all her strength and sat softly on the ground. I smiled and said, Makoto, you can't get away either. He stopped and said coldly, George, don't scare me. To put it bluntly, what if I played with your wife? I am not your company's person, and I don't owe any debts, I come as I want and leave as I want. I looked at Makoto's proud face and said with a smile, I indeed don't have any accounts to settle with you, but anyway. Willow was once my fiancé, and I can help her settle a few accounts. He asked, What accounts? Three years ago, she gave you a Porsche 911, which can still sell for a million in second-hand price now. And this watch you're wearing, I guess she gave it to you too, right? You couldn't possibly afford it, even this Armani suit you're wearing, can you? A student who relies on public funds for studying abroad, afford a high-end custom suit. Willow, who was originally disheartened, suddenly raised her head, and a ray of hope burst out in her eyes. She grabbed Makoto's hand and said excitedly, Yes, you can't go, you return all the things I gave you, and all the transfers I made to you, you return them all. Makoto angrily said, Where is the reason for wanting to return the things given to others, you despicable person? I've loved you for so many years in vain, given you so many benefits, and now you'd rather watch me die than give me back my things. Willow stood up. She reached out to grab Makoto's face and cursed. I'll fight you. You return all the things right now. The two people who were originally in love are now fighting each other. If outsiders saw this, who would believe that this is a shareholder meeting? It's simply a fight in the vegetable market. I sat in the chairman's position, watching the two fighting, and couldn't help laughing. Makoto really gave it to Willow. He clenched his fist and kept hitting Willow's face. But how could Willow possibly give up this last straw? Even if she was beaten to a bloody nose, she still clung to Makoto. Seeing that she was losing, Willow quickly said to the tattooed men, 
Brothers, help me. If I sue this guy, I can definitely get the money back to repay you. These people pondered for a moment, and in the end, they really grabbed Makoto's neck and picked him up like a chicken. If they could get the money back through legal channels, they naturally didn't want to make extra efforts. Makoto was furious. He spat a thick phlegm on Willow's face and cursed, I've played with you for so many years, and in the end, you want to take everything back. I've been played by you for nothing all these years. Bad luck, disgusting. The one who feels bad luck and disgusting is me. I had an abortion for you. I even wanted to hand over the family business to you. But in the end, you are the real Wolf in sheets clothing. I touched my chin and looked at the angry Willow. It's really interesting. She just won't call him brother Makoto no matter what. Willow finally paid off the money. It's not hard to imagine how much she has invested in Makoto over the years. Former lovers are now confronting each other in court. In the end, the court ruled that Makoto had to return all the property, those cars and items, which could help Willow repay about 2 million in debt, and through the investigation of transfer records, she had transferred 2.8 million in cash to Makoto herself. But the problem is, after Makoto got a rich woman, he spent money like water, and he has long spent all his money. Now even if the court orders him to repay the money, he can't come up with it, in the end, Willow completely inherited her father's selfishness. She sold the debt of 2.6 million to those tattooed men. Making a profit of 600,000, these creditors naturally agreed to accept it. They always have ways to get the money back. After I got the production line, customers, and goods of the Liu Group, I promoted and marketed them for the first time, converted the goods into cash, and then terminated the contract with those bows, and re-signed contracts with bloggers who are suitable for light luxury goods in the Fen Group. We already had a complete proposal, plus the customers of the Liu Group, which quickly put a new company on the right track, and that Mr. Liu, he had long died of illness abroad, and could not come back. When I saw Willow again, I was sitting in the car and she was standing on the street. She was standing on the side of the road, in vulgar clothes, holding a cigarette in her hand wearing heavy makeup on her face, but she couldn't hide her increasingly decaying skin. I asked the driver to stop the car and waved to her. She didn't see that it was me, and quickly ran to the car. As soon as she got in the car, I smelled the low-quality makeup smell on her, which was very pungent and unpleasant. And then she saw me, her mouth wide open in shock. I said, how come it's just you, where is Makoto? I don't know. She shook her head and said, We haven't seen each other since the court ruling. Oh, this job suits you very well now. She clutched the corner of her skirt and squeezed out a smile. At this moment, she seemed to merge with the her in my memory when she was a child. Willow said softly, Mr. Wan, I really can't survive anymore. It was all my fault back then. As long as you can let go of your anger, I can count out to you. Please, can you take me in? I said, do you remember? Once at the beginning of spring semester, I wore a new dress, you insisted that I kneel in front of the whole class and act as a horse for you to ride, and my dress was worn out. She shed tears and cried. Mr. Wong, I'm sorry. That time, I went home. It was your mother who sewed my clothes stitch by stitch. Both you and your father are heartless people. After your father's business grew, he immediately dumped your mother, and your mother was so good to you, but you followed your rich father. Even if she was sick and wanted to see you before she died, you didn't agree. Willow lowered her head and said nothing. I sighed and said, she was the only one in the Liu family who gave me warmth. If you and your father hadn't abandoned her, I would have repaid her kindness and would not have taken action against the Liu family. Kindness is kindness, and revenge is revenge. Although the Liu family is gone, I have to do right by your mother. Come to the company to report tomorrow, I will give you a position with a monthly salary of over 10,000. I will not let her flesh and blood starve on the street. Willow widened her eyes and quickly asked, what position, the next day? An important old customer was coming to do business, and I picked him up in a Maybach. When we arrived at the company, the gate opened. Willow was standing at the door, draped in a welcome banner, and bowed respectfully to us, good morning, Mr. Wong. The customer looked at Willow, he said puzzledly, this girl looks familiar, but I can't remember who she is for a while. I warned Willow and couldn't help but laugh, just a lapdog, not worthy of being remembered by name. 